putting forward this submission towards me today to actually pass on to the uh, Premier and also to the uh, Minister for uh, uh, Planning, uh, John uh, Day. I, I do thank everybody also for coming down and actually putting your actual input into the community, which is all about today, your community in our area. I do agree the industrial areas have to be put in. There's about six of them outlined for the northern suburbs. If we don't do that, our kids won't be working anywhere in the northern suburbs. If you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't want your children to be working in the northern suburbs, that's fine. I will go along to the minister and say that you don't want your children to be working in the northern suburbs. I also do acknowledge the fact, I also do acknowledge the fact that it, the uh, Nangara Mount is the most precious piece of environment that we have in the world. And that's why the particular area that is actually listed on this map uh, is listed for later on to be possible future of, uh, industrial land is on a P1 mound. Now we all know here that you can't put an industrial land or even urban land on a P1 area. It can only be rural. Now can I tell you that just a few years ago, we all know that the state governments of the past purchased quite a bit of land in that Pinjar area to actually save the mound from getting actually contaminated. That process is still underway today where they're still absorbing people's land, they're asking people to sell up and save that land for our future use for water uh, development only. This document that was actually put out last November was actually put up as a study to find out where our needs for industry are. And it's for the Perth to Peel area. There are over 40 sites listed in the whole metropolitan area to where we will need any future planning for uh, industrial land only. In the northern suburbs, there are six items listed for the northern suburbs. One of those, as we know today, is what you guys are actually here to represent, is the actual South Pinjara property. And that site is amongst the other six in this area that is being looked at. There's a long way to go. There's a long way to go before any of this land has to actually be zoned as residential, light, sorry, light industrial. I stand in looking after the environment as well as planning for our children. That's where I stand and I'm happy to represent you guys in Parliament as I do as the appropriate ministers to actually make your point of view heard. Thank you.